to this story, and this strikes me as quite a smart idea. The Gauteng Department of Education today announced the launch of the Ekangala Engineering School of Specialization. It's a focused learning center, it's in Bronkospreit, and it's home to a number of coal mines, Bronkospreit. It's hoped the school is going to produce learners who have an engineering edge to gain work in the area they live and go to school. Sounds like a really great concept, and I'm joined now by the principal of the Ekangala Engineering School, Christina Gianna. And thank you so much uh, for joining us, Ms. Gianna. Um, Talk to me about how the school is operating. Um, it gives them, it's supposed to give these kids an engineering edge, but specifically in coal mining and engineering, am I right? Yes, you are correct. We, 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 are, we are specializing in, in mining engineering. That's our focus. So we, we, we want these learners to be innovative. We want, we want them to, be, to, be, to create jobs, unlike a, looking for jobs. So therefore, we are starting them from grade eight with our, 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 our technical subject of electronics. Because remember, um, mining has got a lot of careers. So what, what we are doing, we, we have started them in grade eight to do subjects like electronics, welding, um, fitting, and machinery. Those are the subjects that we've started doing with them. I so we, we are trying to make sure that they are relevant to the careers that are being offered in different mines which are around our community. I mean, it's a great concept that you, you upskill people who live in that area because the jobs are specific to that area in some cases. Do these kids work towards uh, your typical matric or is this more of an FET college as we've known them? No, it's not an FET college. It is a, a, it's like a high school, an FET, starting in grade eight up until grade 12. But the idea is that we have to, to tap into the skills that, are, that these learners are having so that we don't channel them towards a particular, a particular skill, but we want to see them being innovative. We want to see them uh, creating, inventing things. So it's, it's like a high school, yes, but with a focus in engineering, mining engineering. Yeah, and engineering is, is, is a multi-layered uh, field. It's also a tough yes. field. Um, I want us to take a quick yes. listen to some of the youngsters who I believe are at the school. This is the subject where the people put the miners in the game and then this is the other part. Uh, I'm going to present this bridge. This is a bridge for cars. This bridge is built by two for the cars to move this side to this side. Thank you. I'm doing this project on the behalf of automotive subject. Um, this project is a tipping track, which me and my team have gathered on and worked on to present. Um, this is a is well known as a tipper truck or maybe a dump truck. Um, this uh, truck is powered by a hydraulic power system, meaning we use compressed water to make it function. And with the excavator on, on the other side, they work hand in hand in mining and construction sites. Uh, you can see these youngsters are really passionate about what they're doing. I'm so delighted to see quite a few girls as well because um, there should be no gender stereotypes there. And it's nice to see there's a good intake of girls too. Um, so do you have to sort of audition or pass a certain test to get into the school to show that you have engineering skills? Yes. Our, our 2023 grade eight I, I have already written an aptitude test. Because remember, if we are to measure or to focus in mining engineering, we need learners who are, who are, who are more exceptionally good in mathematics, natural sciences, and in English. These learners have to pass an aptitude test at, 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 at an average of 60%. So we, they, we, they have started to write those, those aptitude tests. Okay. We know as well that coal mining is 
is an industry in transition. We know that in terms of our just transition, we have to move towards greener, greener cleaner uh, ways of producing electricity. And coal mining uh, might eventually become less of an important industry. Are the students also going to be primed in those alternative energy projects? And I ask that because we know that a lot of coal mines are now being turned, um, you know, we, we, for, for example, we're seeing with uh, energy uh, power plants that sometimes they're transitioning them to green energy power plants. Are we seeing similar um, awareness of that in the coal mining industry? Definitely, definitely, because we, we took them to some mines around the, the area, like for instance, they, they went to the, the canyon mines to go and observe, and they can all they could also also see how how changes there the, the should be changes because we cannot only rely on coal. Remember, we 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 want to move from using coal and also use other avenues which mm -hmm. these learners had to had to to tap into so that they can also uh, make sure that. We, 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 we don't only generate electricity using coal, but we can also go the other route. So the Ekangela Engineering School of Specialization in Bronkospate, you said you've got 2023 20, grade eights that you're assessing currently. Um, when are your first matriculants with these engineering skills going to emerge? And does this mean that they're almost guaranteed a spot in a university to go on to get an engineering degree? Yes, we, we, we are not only encouraging them to go to universities. Remember, we, we in, 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 in mining, we also need artisans. We are also encouraging learners to take the, the TVET college, college's route, where they can also go and do some of the, uh, of the courses via um, some colleges, not only in, in, in universities. So in 2020, our, our first matriculant group will be in 2020, 2025, because now we are moving next year in grade 10. The learners, the, the subject that have been introduced are only, they'll be doing meta, pure mathematics. And in our technical side, they'll be doing tech maths. So that is the route that they will be taking in grade 10, starting 2023. Well, it sounds really exciting uh, and congratulations on the Ekangala Engineering School, Principal Christina Gianna. And as my producers just said in my ear, who knows, maybe one of your pupils will come up with an answer to load shedding. <laughs> Thank you so much. They will definitely do so. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. That is an absolutely awesome initiative. Really wonderful news. Thank you so much, Christina. And that's all from the SA Tonight team.